Today we are going through something massive. Something massive that just happened in the last 24 hours um, about FNAF. So basically it's been a while since FNAF 9 was first leaked. Um, I'm gonna look if I can see when it was first released. I, I can't, re I don't know when it was first released, but there was this teaser that you will see on the screen um, that is called 9.jpg, obviously FNAF 9, um, and it says 2020 at the bottom. That obviously means that this new entire game is coming out in 2020, and we all thought we all thought that it was still Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, right? That's what it looked to be. But it looked like it was all revamp revamped. And now we know otherwise. So over time, we got even more teasers, and I haven't been through these on my channel yet, so this is the perfect time to do so. We've got this one teaser that says Rock at the bottom. Um, it's, of, it's a picture of what's called Glam Rock Freddy. Um, which is really cool, but there is a secret because there always is in these in these uh, teasers. If you look right at the top near Freddy's left ear, you will see Vanny. Vanny in the window. Vanny was introduced into FNAF VR. If you don't know who she is, it's confusing. But she's also she tied in a lot uh, into Help Wanted, but it's got something to do with the entire cult of uh, William Afton and the Glitch Trap. So going through this swiftly, um, we had a few more teasers about uh, Fetch and about FNAF AR. Then we had uh, what is currently on his website, um, and it's called Montgomery.jpg, uh, and it's a picture of this animatronic, who we thought could have been Foxy, okay, because he's got the long snout, um, and like a little bit of a tail, but we now have more detail into him and it looks like he's a crocodile. A crocodile that plays guitar with these star glasses. Uh, again, uh, this teaser has a secret. Uh, if you look right to the left of uh, the word jam, um, there's one character who isn't holding up um, her glow stick. Um, we feel like this may have some importance towards the law. Maybe this is an important person, but we don't know yet until we have the game. Now, what's all this got to do with the last 24 hours? Well, in the last 24 hours, there were new names released on the Funko website. Now, Funko is a company that does uh, that does basically FNAF merch. Um, you got the Funko Pops, uh, and new ones have been teased, basically. But now, because of this, we know the name of not only each animatronic, but the entire game. So, we're gonna go through this one by one. So, we have five action figures. Um, one of Glamrock Chica, who is on the far left. One of Glamrock Freddy, who is obviously the one next to Chica. One of Montgomery Gator, who is the croc crocodile uh, or alligator um, that we see next to Freddy. And the last one, Roxanne Wolf, uh, who we see on the far right. So I know that wasn't the last one. The last one is Vanny, which is very interesting to me. So is Vanny an animatronic? We know that um, we know that she has a mask um, of this rabbit, this white and brown rabbit, I think it was, with red eyes. Um, but now we're gonna have a Funko pop of her. So she's gonna have some significance in some way. She might be an animatronic. One, one important thing to note is that we all... Matt Pat was very good in finding out the name of this bunny. This random bunny that just came up um, and he called her Vanny. Well done. Um, I always thought that was kind of like a fan name for it. But now it's confirmed that it is Vanny, just not with a Y, 
with an IE, but it makes sense. So we have these five characters. Um, I have a feeling Vanny's going to be a lot like kind of Golden Freddy in the first games, like more of an Easter egg animatronic. But I don't know. I I have no idea. We only have the information given. What is the name of FNAF 9 going to be called? It's going to be called FNAF Pizzaplex. FNAF Pizzaplex. Now, to me, I saw this name and I was like, is this real? Really? What? No. Um, it doesn't sound like a FNAF name, but I suppose you do need to get used to it, obviously. Um, what I will say is we can analyse the name, obviously. We can, we've can we analysed names before. Um, sister location, we thought it could either be a sister location to the main locations, or it could be about the crying child sister, which it was kind of about both. Uh, Freddy's Pizzeria Simulator, um, well, it was a pizzeria simulator. Kind of gone corrupt, but okay. Even FNAF VR, Help Wanted, I mean, um, I mean, think about it, like, Help Wanted, that's a lot like the newspapers that we see in FNAF 1 and 2, all of these names, uh, even uh, Special Delivery, right, that means that we're getting animatronics delivered to our house. So what does Pizzaplex in, uh, mean, what does that connote? Well, pizza. <laughs> I, I know the first part, um, pizza is still involved loosely in this in this franchise, but Plex, that is the the part that is questionable. Um, so I'm going to look up what, the, what a Plex is. So basically Plex is a suffix, um, I knew this before. Plex is a suffix um, and it kind of if you think about the word complex, which is one of the first words that comes into my head when I think plex, um, if you think about complex, that can mean different things. It can mean um, it's it's hard, uh, it's difficult, or it could mean an establishment. So let's think about it. So Friday Fazbear's Pizza, one of the locations could be a complex. You know, you, you have you have a prison complex. It's, I don't know, I don't know if it's a loose space off of this. Um, English coinages ending in plex, especially denoting structures with a given number of dwelling units, are probably in part new formations. With this, and then it ends there, for goodness sake. Um, with this suffix, and in part based on the noun. So I don't think we need to think too deeply into this, but um, it does say that um, it needs different parts to it, right? And as you know, in that first leak that we got, this massive complex has different parts to it. Um, we know there's an arcade, there's a cinema, there's a Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. So this is a mall. This is clearly a mall. We all knew it was a mall from the start, but this kind of confirms it in a way. Um, is it in the 1980s? Don't know, but it's got Vanny in it. So <laughs> it's it's hard to tell. It's really difficult to tell. But as Matt said in his in his latest video, um, I think one thing to note is the fact that tech not like Freddy F Fazbear Entertainment will always be ahead in technology. Um, like the sister location animatronics, for example. They look like they're from the future, but they're from the past. So don't let your eyes deceive you. Uh, <laughs> that's all i got to say, really. Um, I want to know what you guys think. Obviously, we have these new animatronics. Um, I don't know if I'm fond of them yet. But Montgomery Gator doesn't really... Yeah, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it right now. And also, Roxanne Wolf. I mean, we've heard of the wolf before from the twisted animatronics, but could could that have any relation? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, but this is very interesting. Also, Rip, Bonnie, and Foxy, I miss you. Um, but we have, we just have to see what it's like. I'm very excited for this game. It is coming out in 2020, and we're currently like over a third of the way through 2020. Um, 
And so I hope it does come out soon. We don't know a release date yet, but now we know the name, FNAF Pizza Plex. <sighs> so yeah, that's the news for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. This was kind of a one-off. Um, I'm, I'm going to do more of these as we get new, more news, obviously. Um, I, I want to be with you guys. I want to now be one of your sources of information about the Freddy franchise uh, and just be there for you guys because <laughs> that's what you deserve. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did enjoy, make sure you do like, comment and subscribe um, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.